together. And uh, we are very, just so glad to, to have you because as you can see, we come together from different countries and, and that's what Rotary is all about. And that's what ITHF is all about. And uh, let's continue enjoying ITHF and enjoying all the benefits that we receive from being members of ITHF. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> good night. Yeah. Okay, good night. Two of us are members of the committee. Uh, Madhu is our, I, I said this because it's the truth. Madhu is our, our technology guru. <laughs> she takes care of everything and beyond. Not only the, the, she's been a member of ITHF and a Rogerian for a long time. Madhu, would you introduce yourself, please? Thank you, uh, Alicia. I joined uh, uh, ITHF in 2001. So that was during the convention in San Antonio. And uh, the administrator then was Jim Andrews. <clears throat> Sorry that my uh, voice is not clear. I have got a bad cold. And uh, I joined in 2001. Uh, I really enjoy ITHF. Uh, it's one of the first fellowship I joined. So uh, ITHF is very close to my heart. I've um, traveled a teeny tiny bit. So I've been hosted by ITHF members. I have hosted ITHF members in my home in Calcutta, eastern part of India. And to uh, share with uh, all of you all, I am going to host a young uh, road track uh, uh, from US, but living in Thailand just now. They are going to come to uh, India for the first time. They're coming to my home next week, staying in my house for three nights. Then they would be going uh, for trekking in northern part of the state uh, where my city is. And uh, following that, they will go to Nepal for further trekking. So that's something I'm really looking forward to. Kurt uh, became an ITHF member in Houston um, in last year, May. And uh, immediately he connected with me and he said that he wants to come and visit India and he wants to come and visit uh, me. So uh, I'm really excited about it. And uh, I would be uh, going to Taiwan uh, to be a volunteer to teach communicative English. I've done this uh, on an invitation from an ITHF member, past administrator, uh, Aircon. And uh, I would be doing this again this year in the month of February. So uh, this, this only happened because of ITHF. So I just wanted to share the good things, uh, you know, that keeps happening uh, because of ITHF. And uh, then of course, uh, during the Melbourne convention, I would be hosted by ITHF members prior to the convention and <clears throat> post convention. Um, so yes, ITHF is all excitement. And uh, now that traveling is fine uh, with some restrictions uh, still, I think oh, we can just go ahead and travel more. Thank you so much, Alicia. Oh, you're welcome, Madhu. And later on, if you wish to say something else, I will go over and then we'll, go, we'll get back to you again. And I'm Alicia Ruiz-Sorgan. I am also a member of the ITHF Virtual Travel Committee with Madhu. I have, not, I have been a member of ITHF and not active in the committee uh, until about two years ago, I started with the ITHF Virtual Committee, but I've been a member of ITHF for at least probably five, six years and, uh, and truly enjoy it. I am a member of the Emmaus Rotary Club here in, uh, in Pennsylvania, which is very close to Mackenzie. We're actually in the suburbs of Allentown, Pennsylvania. And uh, as I mentioned, we're north of Philadelphia, about 45 minutes from Philadelphia. And you are welcome anytime that you wish to come. You are welcome in my house. Welcome. Please, uh, we, we, the, my husband and I both retire. Our daughters are married and living somewhere else. So we have four bedrooms in the house. You're always welcome to come <laughs> and stay with us. I'll raise my hand. <laughs> very good, Vicky. You'll be more than welcome. And uh, everybody, seriously, I, 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 I welcome you. I've been a Rotarian, believe it or not, for 31 years. No, actually 32 years. I joined in 1989 and uh, in January of 1981, uh, 1991, 1990, I'm sorry, right the year right after Rotary accepted women in, 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 in Rotary International. 
Uh, I love Rotary. I came with Rotary. I, uh, got, I got a, a scholarship from my club in Morelia, the, the Morelia Rotary Club. And the Lancaster Rotary Club sponsored me. I was a teacher in Mexico. And I came here to learn how teaching is done in this country. And of course, they learn about how we do in Mexico. But uh, it was a wonderful experience. And, now, and here I am. I do want to share something with you about ITHFs because thanks to the ITHF, in 2020, right before the, the pandemic, my husband and I went to Cambodia and uh, with Sustainable Cambodia. I, I, just, I, I can't even describe to you how wonderful it was. It was a combination of Rotary service and traveling in Cambodia. And it, believe me, Angkor Wat, has anybody been in Angkor Wat? Okay, then you know, it is just an absolutely amazing place. And the other places that you also get to see in Cambodia that are historical and so important to the culture of Cambodia, uh, such as the killing fields. But, but Cambodia itself is just beautiful, beautiful. And the people that we helped, it was just wonderful. My husband is going back to Cambodia now in, in February because his club has sponsored a uh, project, Global Grant, with the sustainable Cambodia. So if you ever want to know anything about Cambodia, every year you will hear through ITHF that there's a trip to Cambodia because ITHF authorizes sustainable Cambodia to promote the, the trip. And that I'll say that's enough for now. Welcome. And uh, I will continue to, to, to call on each one of you to tell us about yourselves, whatever you want to share. That's what this is all about, is to get to know each other. So I'm going to start with Ella. Ella, you are, could you unmute yourself, please? Yes, <laughs> now. Huh? OK. I'm, I'm Gabriela, full name Regenbrecht. It's very difficult for foreign people not speaking German, um, my last name. Um, but Ella is OK for short. Um, I'm living in Munich. I was working uh, at the airport at Munich in the facility management. And uh, I have nothing to do with the flying part. <laughs> um, I'm retired since uh, one year, one year and two months, exactly. So, and last year I, uh, I joined the um, ITHF in Hamburg at the World Convention. Uh, it was 2019 and uh, last year I did my first journey uh, Sheila knows it uh, she was with me at the um, Brazilian tour it was a wonderful tour I was staying a long time more in Brazil I stayed there eight weeks with some friends I knew from the um, uh, Rotary Youth um, because I did uh, 10 years the youth exchange and youth services in the in my district of 1842 uh, till 2020. But I did it nine years and now I have nothing to do with it. But I still know a lot of Rotex and uh, I don't know if you know Rotex. Rotex is a um, community for the exchange for the alumni exchange students it's very in germany it's very they are very busy to doing a lot of things for us um yeah my now i have free time a, a lot of free time and i didn't see haven't seen a lot of the world and i would like to visit and uh, have traveling around the world that's my because i'm within here in this community. Uh, thank you, Ella. Anything else uh, that you want to tell us later on? Let's go around and I'm sure there will be time to say more things that you want to share with us. Uh, Serge, Serge, your turn. Tell us about you. Anything you want to ask to know about you, your country, Rotary? Okay, great. So I'm um, Serge Suruaga. I'm from Benin originally. Uh, Benin is in West Africa. It's, it's a country where we speak French. 
as official language. But I've decided since 2009 to move to Ghana. Ghana is uh, about 450 kilometers uh, from Cotonou. Uh, I'm in, mainly in Ghana because I work in the language sector. I have uh, a language training center. So Madhu, since uh, you like volunteering, do not hesitate to plan to come to Ghana as well. Uh, that is what we offer here to the Francophone community. In fact, Ghana is surrounded by French speaking countries. So Ghana is in the middle speaking English and all around you have Cote d'Ivoire, they speak French. Then you have Burkina Faso, they speak French. You have Togo, they speak French. Niger is not far, Senegal is not that far, Guinea is not far. And all these countries, they speak French. So definitely they take advantage of Ghana whenever they want to learn English and uh, feel the Anglophone environment. You may say Nigeria is not that far. Why not go into Nigeria? But uh, people see Ghana to be safer than Nigeria. And also the quality of the English, maybe the accent is less pronounced than what you will have in Nigeria. Okay, so that's what I can say about uh, my profession. It is part of it in reality, because another part of what I do is translation. French and English as a combination. So I'm a professional conference interpreter. That leads me to travel a lot as well. Um, I've joined Rotary in 2017. And uh, not long after I've joined Rotary, then we have the RI convention in Toronto. So when I was in Toronto, that's where I have discovered ITHS and uh, I've joined automatically when I've heard about it. Oh. Just after joining, then we have the convention in Germany. And after that, COVID came in. Yes, I was able to welcome two times ITHF members in Ghana. And uh, maybe after that with COVID, yes, things went down until I've started receiving email from uh, ITHF on the virtual sessions, and then I've started joining again. But I've been on the, let's say the, the first session. Uh, it's because I've missed it this time around uh, that I've said, okay, I will not miss the second one. So let me register and join the second one. So today I've seen different faces and uh, it's uh, all interesting seeing these faces. Benefit of uh, joining uh, ITHF, I've said I've already welcomed two, but also when I was in uh, Toronto, the member that introduced me to ITHF really welcomed me and gave me a free tour in Quebec City. Wow. Uh, really a free tour, uh, the kind of tour that is personalized and uh, which we don't have even as someone paying for it, okay? And uh, for the next uh, RI convention in Melbourne, definitely I will have uh, also an uh, ITHF, uh, I would say, should I say pre-convention? Maybe I should say post-convention uh, hosting. And uh, who knows, maybe I will have a support of uh, a member of ITHF also to visit New Zealand. So that is just to tell you a bit about uh, some of the benefits of already being a member of that community. Uh, definitely it's an international community and it's always a pleasure seeing and meeting people from all over the world. Thank you so much, Serge. I appreciate it, uh, very interesting. And uh, I am going to introduce Sheila Hart, but before I do, I also want you to know that Sheila is part of the board of ITHF. And we're all okay. welcome to have her. Very knowledgeable. She's been with ITHF for a long time. And anything you want to learn about, know about ITHF, believe me, <laughs> Sheila will know it. So <laughs> Sheila, also, Sheila uh, is, is gonna tell us about herself and she's also gonna share uh, something that ITHF is promoting for the, com for the convention. Sheila, you're on. Thanks. 
Okay, thank you very much. So actually, I've been in Rotary for 30 years. I was one of the charter members of our club. And so that was 1993. In 1996, the International Convention was held in Calgary, Alberta. And we have some very dear Rotarians who supported the development of our club. And I'll never forget one saying, all of you need to go to the Calgary Convention because you will never be have a, another Rotary Convention as close as this. So, and actually, the, <laughs> the one fellow from my club who went, and we're both charter members and we're still involved with Rotary, and he's going to become the district governor. Anyway, so then I, you know, I didn't do that much with my THF uh, until <clears throat> Steve Yoshida got hold of me. <laughs> And he said, how would you like to run the booth in Montreal? Well, so, okay, that started me on a journey of running the ITHF booths at uh, various conventions, and um, which was great fun. Um, and then also, and I have no idea how the nominating committee worked at that time, they said, chill out. Would you let your name stand for president? So I did. So, I, you know, I've gone through the, the whole ITHF president thing, and now I'm the co-chair of the tour committee and plus very involved with a million other rotary things um so i we've we've hosted a couple of couples here through ithf um not a huge number because we're a bit off the beaten track so but in a beautiful beautiful part of canada um and, uh, but the other thing was, I was very involved with Rotary Friendship Exchange. I think I was the chair for about 10 years. And, and I always say, Rotary has taken me around the world. And it's wonderful, a wonderful experience. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I have umpteen committees that report to me for the district. I'm very involved with the DEI committee, which I'm finding is a whole learning curve. Because uh, I've been retired for many years, so... <laughs> anyway, that's what keeps me busy in my spare time. So, uh, Alicia, do you want me to go ahead with my little presentation? Yes, go ahead. Okay. So, as I mentioned, um, I'm part of the uh, or a co-chair of the tour committee, and uh, we I uh, worked with Peter from Australia to put to put together with the committee to put together a pre and post Melbourne convention tour. And um, I have to say that I, I didn't realize how much stress I was under until last night when I think hopefully we've got 12 people on the Tasmanian tour. Um, there has not been a huge response. I'm not sure why. One of the people on the Zoom call last night um, what is very knowledgeable what's going on on Melbourne and she said their registrations have not been up to what they had expected. I think a lot of it has to do with fear about COVID. A lot of people have travel credits that they need to use up or they're going to lose them, you know, the, the, where they had trips deferred. And um, so anyway, uh, I'm, I'm hoping that some of you might decide to come to the convention in Melbourne and uh, especially that you might be interested in the in Tasmanian Highlights Tour, since that looks like will be the, the main one to go. I'm not sure about the, the Victorian Highlights ones. Anyway, yesterday, before my presentation last night, I spent quite a while going on the web and pulling up a lot of information about the different uh, places that we're going to be going on the, on the Tasmanian Tour. And it's just a gorgeous part of the world. Um, national parks with, with just beautiful mountains, white sand beaches, um, blue ocean. I was so thrilled to discover that we're actually going to go and watch the little blue penguins come in from the ocean at night and go to their rookeries. I don't, has anybody seen this before? We saw it on a friendship exchange trip in out, out, out of Melbourne and it's just enchanting. You would never forget the view of all these little penguins coming up just at dusk to go to their rookeries. Um, we're going to have to also have some history lessons. And of course, uh, as you know, um, the British used Australia and Tasmania. Uh, this is a whole interesting scenario where they used um, 
who they defined as criminals to try and um, institute a white population in uh, Australia and develop the country. It's, it's really a, a very shocking history. So we will be taking in a couple of um, sites of, about that. Um, one place is the Cascades Female Factory. There were over 7,000 convicts, female convicts there between 1828 and 1856. And for such minor things as stealing a pair of boots or stealing a loaf of bread, and they were banished to Australia. It's just incredible. Uh, anyway, so Tasmania's got lots of beautiful historic buildings. It's got gorgeous parks. We're going to be doing a bit of uh, short day cruises while we're there and uh, hopefully see Tasmanian devils, quails, platypuses, and um, all sorts of other things. So I'm hoping that some of you might consider um, registering for this and, and please do it as soon as possible. Um, if you haven't got the brochure, if you put your email in the um, uh, um, chat, I'll make sure that you get the information. The other tour, which I'm not sure that this is going to happen, um, is around uh, high, highlights of, of uh, Victoria. You go out to what used to be the 12 apostles. You go through mining communities. Um, again, you run into some of the history with the convicts. And um, yeah, lots of uh, good little tales that you'll be hearing on that trip. So there we go. Well, we encourage everybody to go. I, unfortunately, I'm not going to be going to, to the convention. I was going to go. And um, by the way, just very briefly, before I ask, uh, I ask uh, Norma and, and Peter to, to tell us about themselves very briefly. You know that ITHA was promoting the, um, the trip to uh, Europe. And, um, and we are going with them and it's, a, it's only 17 Rotarians and we are going traveling from Finland, Germany, Czechoslovakia, Vienna and uh, we end up in, in um, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, Budapest. We end up in Budapest and all that through, through ITHF. It was promoted in here ITHF and then the one from the north south is sold out. I think there's still spaces on the one from uh, from uh, uh, south from Budapest north to Finland. If you want me, if you want to learn about that, because it's not in the ITHF originally, some people have canceled. That's why I, I'm aware of it. Uh, they they were filled, and then some people have canceled for whatever reasons. If anyone is interested in that in that uh, trip, let me know, and I'll be glad to give you the email of the man who is promoting it. And this is a trip that was authorized by ITHF, right, Sheila? That's the, the, the one that, uh, that, that ITHF uh, promoted. And it was filled and some people have canceled. That's how we know that there are spaces. Uh, and it, now, so now I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask um, um, Norma, 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 I'm sorry, Norma. And, and and Peter and and Peter to to tell us about tell us about yourselves. Um, well, we live uh, in a, a small town, Guelph. It's uh, one hour uh, west of Toronto. So, such you were very close <laughs> to getting there. And uh, it's a population hundred and forty thousand. Now has grown very fast. We had been around less than 100,000 for a long time until a lot of people moved out of Toronto looking for uh, cheaper homes. So, and uh, it grew very, very, and it's still growing very quickly. Uh, I joined <clears throat> between Peter and I, I am the one who is a Rotarian. I joined in uh, 2006, and now we are in District 7808. And um, uh, well, we have uh, lived here in Guelph. Uh, it's going to be 39 years uh, this coming March, uh, living in the city. 
and uh, our club is involved in a number of uh, uh, projects and um, uh, it's mostly local community projects and we're also very involved in international projects uh, in uh, Lesotho, Ghana, Cameroon, and a new one is coming up for Nigeria and a new project in Guatemala and India. So those are our international projects. I joined ITHF and oh my goodness, it's probably four years now. No, it will be longer <laughs> because COVID is taking that, you know, three years almost of it, at least five years. But because of work really has been, uh, because we're not, not retired yet, has been difficult to host or to travel. And uh, my, our first convention was Louisiana and uh, we were just blown away. And I still remember that there were over 20,000 people in that convention. <laughs> and then I went by myself to, uh, to Hamburg and uh, it was just amazing, blows away. And, um, and I did visit the ITHF booth and spoke to the person there. And I've so been encouraging members of my club to join ITHF. I'm always sending little things and kind of wanting them to get in, um, sort of to join. And now we have uh, three new people, I've recruited three new people. Um, I, I'm also in a committee for um, district fellowship exchange. And right now we are in the middle of uh, planning one for Sweden, uh, district 2400. And uh, we will be in Sweden. We will be in Sweden in, sorry, from late September to mid October. And um, Peter will be coming too. And uh, we would want to extend that trip when the um, uh, district friendship exchange is done. So we'll be reaching out to, uh, to uh, ITHF members in Sweden. I see the Ganela. So you might get a call from us. And uh, so that's, uh, that's the work that will be happening, looking for ITHF members to go to different uh, countries, uh, sort of in that area, Scandinavian countries. And uh, I will be uh, going to, um, uh, to Melbourne. Everything is set up and signing up for uh, ITH, uh, a pre-convention to Tasmania. Just excited, really looking forward to that. And uh, uh, Sheila and I have been going back and forth uh, preparing for that. And uh, the one thing I'm still looking for a partner to share the, uh, to share a room if there's a, a single female that is looking for someone to share the, uh, the Tasmanian trip um, room, roommate. Uh, so I'm open to that. And uh, I, this is, I think right now, uh, Peter and I were in the middle of kind of a transitioning to retirement or super semi-retirement is, you know, what 10% and then 90% to be available for Rotary and ITHHF and, and other things. So I think now we're kind of uh, going to be using um, ITHF more. And we were looking for, we had a, an exchange with, with a Taiwan, uh, uh, with the district friendship exchange, everything was set up and then the convention got canceled. So still have to set up that um, uh, uh, district friendship exchange uh, with, uh, with Taiwan. They wanted to do it this May, but it was a little bit too close for us to do it with Sweden because Sweden will be coming to us in May. So we could not accommodate the Taiwanese. So we're going to have to kind of shift that one and probably we're uh, wanting to do it uh, in 2024 with them. Uh, with Taiwan. So that's, that's really uh, the not kind of a, Peter wants to tell you a little bit about uh, ITHF. He always attends this um, kind of, a, uh, this virtual uh, tours with me and uh, maybe he would like to say something what he thinks about ITHF. ITHF. 
Hello. It's uh, a nice opportunity, certainly, to meet a lot of people. And we've always enjoyed uh, traveling, whether independently or together. So we're looking forward to, to having that opportunity yet again to go to other places and actually get involved uh, with local people who can provide a lot more insight about a place. Uh, doing it as a tourist is one thing, but having the opportunity to, to stay with someone and ask them questions about what things are like and what they enjoy and how they see the world makes it uh, so much more informative and interesting and enjoyable. So I think that's one of the strengths of both Rotary and the IDH group in that particular. Well, thank you very much, Peter. Very, very informative and very interesting, uh, everything that you have done. Wow, very interesting. Vicky, do you want to share about yourself with us, please? Oh, yeah, sure. Um, I'm from a District 7255, New York, Long Island. Um, I've been member for like 13 years. I have been um, um, vice president, um, president of the club, Grand Co Rotary in Long Island, and also six years as AG. And uh, since last seven, eight years, I joined the Rotary. I got the opportunity to uh, tour with uh, all kinds of Rotarian uh, through my club. Uh, we have French Exchange, we have VTT, which is pretty big in my district. So uh, for that opportunity, I've been a team leader to um, uh, several places like Brazil, like Hungary, like um, Hong Kong. And other than that, our district also, you know, covered with uh, many different places, uh, especially French Exchange, we do two, three countries. So that's why it got me into that. Uh, interest because that I also can see the project from different country, which we also became partner to do global grant, um, see what they're doing in the other side of the country. Um, so I knew well uh, some of that, you know, like uh, in Philippines and in Hungary, in India. So we do some different kind of project water. Um, Uganda, like, you know, uh, for eyesight, for dental, for um, heart surgery with gift of life, which our um, district is the founder of the gift of life um, program. 40, 40, 48 years ago, 44,000 child have been safe throughout the, the world. Um, so I'm very proud as a member. So right now I just moved to Florida for a few months ago, which I have home here for uh, quite some time. My son has lived here, so I want to spend some time with him. And also I have home in South Carolina with my partner. And um, I met uh, Ella, Gabriel, through um, Sheila and several other members uh, for the first time uh, trip in Brazil and uh, October, I mean, sorry, in November, it was excellent, excellent trip that organized by one of our member, Alonso, and it was such an adventure. And also Cambodia, I also one of uh, the sponsor. I used to go there four times, I mean, four years on the road and for the sustain, sustainable yeah, Cambodia, Cambodia, which is one of my passion. But since Cambodia, I have to stop. I couldn't go there, but we started this year again. Uh, we have a group there now, 56 people, but I couldn't go because I were just handling my big move from New York to Florida. So um, I probably join next year. And uh, we support pretty much from our New York district. And I love that trip. It's really nice and very meaningful, rewarding. And my sponsor child going to be a doctor, which I'm so, so, so happy. She's in college right now and I have a boy also sponsoring. It's only 300 a year, 500 for the college. It's really not worth to visit because the trip is only a thousand dollars, not including airfare. And the Rotarian there, they're doing a wonderful job. 
So that's about it. And I love you know share the world and uh, see the world with uh, with Rotary people. I've been to Rotary International for several countries, which would open my eyes, and um, I'm just loving it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Vicky. Yes, yes, it is very interesting. I think probably everybody here loves to travel around the world, don't we? Yes, everybody. Yeah. I am going to ask Jack, I, I'm sorry, uh, Janila, to to tell us about her, herself. Yes, thank you. Uh, I have been a member, but I'm not a member at the moment, but I got this invitation, so I thought I, I must come back. Uh, I have been Rotarian since 1991, and so I have some years behind me, and I have been district governor and since 2013, I work with Youth Exchange. Uh, I have been, been involved uh, for many years, and uh, I, I'm, I think it's very interesting with youth exchange, but I also think I have to do something else at the moment. I, we have not traveled so much since the pandemic began, as we all understand. And we are not interested in long uh, travels, but we are interested in taking host, to be host. So if you want to come to Sweden, you are welcome. And uh, I don't have so many rooms and beds, but I have for two persons at least. And uh, if you are young, you can sleep on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you're welcome. And, and uh, I have, uh, uh, yes, I have enjoyed and I, to be a member. And I also was in Hamburg at the booth working, as Sheila asked me. And I have been a member now and then. So I don't have, no, I, I can say I live in Sweden uh, about uh, 100 kilometers south Stockholm. So uh, there is a train connection and bus connections that are very easy to take. So you're welcome. Thank you. And I, Thank you so much. Hmm? And Thank it's you. beautiful. Sweden is beautiful. Oh, it's just such a beautiful country. Oh my gosh. Especially yes. southern, south of Stockholm. Like yes. It's an uh, amazing country. Yeah, Are it? you coming to Sweden on this uh, European tour you talked about? No, it doesn't stop in Sweden, unfortunately. It, it stops in Vienna, it stops in um, uh, Prague. Oh. Uh, but but and and then from Vienna we go to East, uh, to Budapest and okay. that's really nice. yes so we're not gonna stop in Sweden not this time but we have uh, we made the friend with the friendship exchange we went to Sweden and we have friends over there and they have been here to visit us here in the ah, yes wonderful yes. and I can see Vicky have been in our district too. Yes, it was wonderful too. I love all the fish. Morning, yeah. I have fish. Then I have fish. <laughs> it was great. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I, Thank you. Well, I'm sorry. Uh, do you, anything else? Any? I don't want to interrupt you. Anything else, Janila? Not okay. at the moment. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Jack, could you tell us about yourself? Certainly. Good afternoon, everybody from Atlantic uh, Canada. Uh, I've been a Rotarian for, I guess, now 35 years, and uh, I've done various things at the club level. But I appreciate uh, joining the ITHF because I haven't traveled for the last three years, so at least this is an opportunity to travel virtually. So at least you can see, like, I think the last time I signed on, you had a presentation on uh, New Zealand. And so it does at least get you thinking about traveling so that... Uh, when I do decide to travel, and our next big trip is going to be to the convention in uh, Melbourne. Okay. And I have uh, looked at uh, the different excursions that ITHF uh, set around. And one of the ones that uh, I uh, was interested in is a gone train. Unfortunately, not enough members signed up for it, but I did sign up uh, 
with the tour agent so I could do the tour myself. So it was some assistance uh, what uh, the flyer sheet they had sent out uh, promoting that excursion. And I did look at the one at 10 Tasmania and uh, Victoria as well. So I hope to at least see some of Victoria after I do my uh, train ride. So, uh, and I look forward to uh, seeing some of you at the uh, convention. Yes. Anything else you want to tell us about yourself? I, 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 I we still have uh, some time. So sure. Uh, like, like, what's your profession? What do you do? You're yeah, I'm kind of retired, and I do a lot of volunteer work for nonprofit organizations. And Rotary is one of the ones uh, I've uh, finished a four-year term as uh, district treasurer. I retired uh, in, in dairy management. I managed uh, fluid milk processing dairy here in New Brunswick for the last for 25 years, and uh, as a profession of a uh, CPA or Chartered Professional Accountant, as we call it in Canada. I mm -hmm. think you guys call it Certified Public Accountants. And uh, I worked with a few of those in my younger uh, career when I worked in Spain. They had Americans there with that designation. So, uh, so that's uh, what my uh, career, uh, I've been retired now for about, uh, I think, five or six years. And uh, so mainly it's not nonprofit that uh, I am um, associating with myself with now. Very good. Well, thank you so much. Uh, Ella, do you want to tell us something about the personal, uh, personal about you? Like what do, what do you like to do or uh, your career or your retire, what you're doing right now? You're, you're muted. Would you unmute yourself, my dear? Ella, would you unmute, unmute yourself? You're muted. Sorry, <laughs> I'm a Rotarian since 20, 2011, but I was become Rotaract in 1977. So wow. I was 15 years, about 15 years Rotaract. Uh, in this time, I, I was eight when my father became Rotarian, so I know a lot and I about Rotarian and um, I know Rotary, Rotary very well since that since that time um, and I like always liked it as a, a Rotaract to travel around and to see friends in another, other countries in this time it was not possible in some countries to get in, in contact with Rotaract because there was no Rotaract uh, like Spain or, or the eastern part of, of Europe so um, but I did a lot of things there and my most, uh, and I like always to travel and to meet people um, anyhow, anywhere. And uh, that's my, my favorite hobby, um, to talk and to travel. Very good. Um, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm already retired. I was working as an engineer. It's a um, uh, facility management at the airport of Munich. So I have nothing to do with the flying part of the of the airport, um, and now I yeah, I'm like to travel and I'm just looking for what I want to do, where to go this year. Thank you so much, Ella. And I'm gonna ask Sarah to please introduce herself and tell us about herself. Sarah, Sarah, can you hear me? Yeah, yes. I can hear you. Very good. Now, you're, yeah, I was going to say, would you please unmute yourself? Go ahead. Tell us about yourself. Hi. Good morning, us. everybody. Uh, and apologies for joining a bit late. Uh, I've just come from a hike and uh, I was trying to settle in and it's <laughs> we were a bit late on traffic. Um, my name is Rotarian Sarakino. I am a member of uh, Rotary Club of Nairobi North. Uh, based in Nairobi, Kenya. So my district is 9212. And uh, I'm one of the few ITHF members from Africa, I think from statistics, <laughs> there are not so many members. Uh, I joined ITHF in 20, during the Hamburg Convention. Um, but I, I have been a Rotarian since 2016. Uh, but before that, I was a Rotaractor for maybe 12 years. 
about or they're about. Um, and uh, the, 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 the passion to travel and to, you know, to meet other Rotarians and to volunteer really started when I was in campus, uh, when I joined Rotaract. And I was very, uh, I was privileged to do a couple of, I did two GACs, one of them was to Canada um, and another one was to Czech Republic. And um, and the, 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 the passion to travel grew on me, <laughs> unfortunately, because of work, in additional studies, which I started doing my master's, I, I didn't really do full-time uh, ITHF and country work. So I took a break and did that. I studied. Now it's, uh, I work, I'm an accountant. I think uh, uh, just like Jack, I'm a, a certified accountant, but I do a bit of shared services right now uh, for an NGO that is uh, a US-based NGO called Care International. Uh, so it's keeping me very busy, actually, that uh, I don't get a lot of time to travel as much. I don't get a lot of time to do road work as much. Uh, in fact, right now I'm shopping around for a for a virtual or uh, for an e-club because it's been very difficult to even go for my fellowship, which I feel very bad. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I think if I join a, a virtual fellowship, then in the evenings I can be able to fellowship with my fellow Rotarians. Uh, because my work schedule has been very, very uh, challenging. It's been very tight uh, and it's going to get tighter this year because there are a lot of projects to deliver. Um, but um, above that, I'm really, really excited to see familiar faces <laughs> from the Brazil tour. Um, Vicky was my roommate at some point. <laughs> Sheila. Yeah, that was my first ITHF uh, trip actually. And um, it was very, very exciting. Uh, we missed you, Madhu. Um, and I have signed up for Melbourne, so I'm hoping to see all of you again physically there. Um, uh, I do have family in, in, in Melbourne and some friends in Mel Melbourne, so we'll be doing some just family-related tours and crossing over to New Zealand for a couple of days. Um, yeah, and then uh, after that, uh, We'll see what else we can do. So unfortunately, I will not be able to join the pre and post convention because of other family engagements. Um, but over and above, uh, I have a big family. And you know, in Africa, everybody's related. Even your neighbor is related to you. So I do a lot of uh, community work, uh, not just for Rochi, but also for, 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 for my own village, for my own community. Uh, for my church and for all. And I, I find that very fulfilling because I'm able to give back to where I grew up, where I, you know, the people who took care of me while I was young. So I love that a lot. In fact, this weekend we have a community activity in, in, in my village and I, I look forward to seeing that. It's a related to, it's a table banking. Uh, we, are, we are starting to help some women uh, create table banking because of my experience in NGO. We are using the model that we've been using to roll that out so that they can able, be able to, to help them save and create some economic uh, empowering activities such as chicken rearing. We are starting with rabbit because in our village, nobody rears rabbits. Um, and and it's, it's very popular because we have uh, the international airport next to it and there's a lot of market for, for rabbit meat within the East African community. Yeah, so those are the things that I get involved out of my work. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope to see most of you in Melbourne. And lovely to see Thank my you so dear much. friends from Brazil. <laughs> Thank you for sharing, sharing very interesting. I, I'm going to ask, um, let's see, I'm going to ask Norma and Norma and Peter if they wanna say something a little bit more, uh, some of your hobbies or what did you retire? Are you traveling all over? Besides the rotary work that you do? Um, <clears throat> yes, um, we are involved in sports um, a lot. I, uh, mm -hmm. I'm a tennis player and uh, I like cross country skiing. And uh, we just received snow the first time, believe it or not. And it has been just in green grass here or dead grass. And uh, the weather has changed. So we are looking forward to getting on onto our uh, skis to be outdoors. 
And uh, before that, yes, I did not tell you a little bit what I'm retiring from. I've done a number of, uh, you know, transitions doing different things. And uh, <clears throat> before that, I worked for the University of Guelph uh, in our research department, environmental biology, basically um, a research technician in plant, uh, plant diseases uh, with uh, field crops. So that's, uh, that's what I did. And then at some point I decided I needed uh, a change, big change, go back to school and start something new that I was interested in. I went back and I did early childhood education. And, uh, and that was in 1987. And uh, it has been so much fun being around children and uh, even just thinking about transitioning to, uh, uh, to retirement, I just feel like uh, that's the piece being with your children I would like to keep and then but just get rid of administration. Thank so you. basically I, I have done that, the team, build the team together to look after all the paperwork because where the government is, is involved, there's a lot of paperwork, a lot of reports, especially if they give you money. <laughs> That's yeah. another. They give you a dollar, you have to do a ten dollar worth of work to report on that money. So yeah. that's the piece that I'm just glad to hand it over, <laughs> give it to yeah. other people who want to work, younger um, employees that want to more hours to work. So um, uh, basically, that part is almost right. finished, and I'm staying with just going all circulating in schools and doing these programs and being around kids and play with them. That's the piece that I, I'm not ready to let it go yet. Peter, do you do you want to say anything else? Just before I, I just want to make sure that everybody has a couple of seconds or minutes to tell us about it so that we don't call you so all the time. But Peter, do you have, uh, do you have anything else you want to tell us? Sure, I, I can mention a couple of things maybe I'm looking forward to doing. Um, I used to work in engineering, uh, electrical engineering, doing industrial control systems, but left that um, uh, quite a few years ago now to, to support Noma's business, which was before and after school care in a number of centers in our town. And I did all of the office work, the accounting and background and IT and whatever else needs to happen for a small business. And uh, I've pretty much transitioned out of that other than still being the maintenance guy and the IT guy because our daughter got involved in the business. She made a big change. So uh, hopefully she'll carry that on. So I'm hoping to do things that were on the back burner for many, many years. And um, so far, I haven't had much opportunity to do that because I volunteer at a couple of things. Um, Mama mentioned we like sports. I used to play tennis a lot too, but I switched to table tennis and I run it for a group, group of seniors in our city. We've got close to 80 members. And it's quite an active club. So that's a better work. And then we've got, we live in a condo. So there are things to do around here. There's a board that looks after roadways and sewage for three buildings. So I'm the guy doing most of the work for that at the moment. Thank you. And I know that Noma claimed that we didn't have snow until recently. Well, actually, that's not quite true. It's been there a number of times because I get the complaints about the snow clearing as well. So I'm quite aware. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah. we are hoping certainly to, to be able to get out more and yeah. uh, do a bit of traveling. Originally, Noma is from Lesotho in Southern Africa, and I am from uh, the Czech Republic in Europe. And I've traveled around Europe lots and around the world a bit as well before we met. And uh, we've done a bit more after. Okay. Would like to do it again. Thank you, thank you, Peter. Yeah, and I just, if it is, if it is okay with you, I, I just asked the other people to share a couple of things. Is that okay with you? 
or or do you want to it's almost 12 o'clock do you yeah, want us just a couple of more minutes and then we'll we'll yeah, let National sheila tell us Australia. again about again tell us about the the and, and encourage us to 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 the pre and post um uh, no. so let's start wow. with let's finish up serge do you have anything else you want to share with <laughs> us uh, 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 for a few seconds so um, okay, let me just talk about uh, my Rotary Club yeah, I'm from the Rotary Club of Christ. It is uh, the fourth established club in Ghana. Uh, I'm the president elect of the club. So currently we are trying to look at what next year will be. So okay. that's it. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> Thanks, <Pete. laughs> Thanks, Serge. And uh, let's see. Um, we're not gonna hold you up that much longer, but I'm gonna try to get uh, a few more things from Vicky and from uh, uh, Janila, and then uh, we'll go over some things as ITHF members that we wanna encourage you to do and, uh, and we'll sign off. But so let me start, let me uh, ask uh, Janila to tell us about, do you wanna tell us about a little bit more about you or like your profession or what you like to do or whatever you want to share with us. What's the, some of the things that, that are near and dear to you? I have retired since uh, six, seven years. So, uh, but uh, we are interested in travel, but not traveling so far away anymore. Uh, we, we uh, are interested in gardening, household. I like to cook and to bake. As you know, I have a run up and down here. <laughs> and um, uh, youth exchange is, uh, I, I, my heart is warm for youth exchange. I think that is very important for Rotary to survive, uh, to do things together. Thank you so much, Anila. Uh, Vicky, do you want to share uh, just a couple of seconds or something else that you would like to share with us that uh, is important to you that you think uh, we should know to get to know you a little bit better? You're, can You're you unmute you yourself? Oh yeah, definitely. I will continue to come to the Zoom meeting more often. Um, actually, I has been um, you know ITH member for quite a number of years, but so many things was occupied, was not uh, really paying too much attention. But since the trip and uh, Brazil, and I just love to see more new friends here, and I already know some friends here, Sheila. Ella, Sarah, they are all in the same travel group. It was wonderful. I hope we could travel again um, sometime soon and share some variable, um, you know, input about what we've been experienced uh, during this Rotary ITH travel, our convention in Australia, or maybe next year. Um, so I'm on board, I'm glad. And I will try to encourage some of my friends or a Rotarian that I know to join because yes. it's, um, it's a very nice group. Thank you. Thank you, Vicky. Serge, uh, I, I already asked you, right? I, I already did. Uh, Madhu, do you want to share anything else about yourself? Any things uh, that you would like us to know? Well, I invite all of you all to come and visit me in India. And uh, that would be really great. Uh, we have so much to offer. So <clears throat> one trip is not enough. Uh, you need to come back to India several times and uh, just keep promoting ITHF amongst all of your Rotary contacts in your club, in your district and uh, the best fellowship that I can think about. Thank you. Thank you, Madhu. Uh, Sheila? Sheila, the, uh, anything else you would like to share with us and, and also to continue to promote the, the pre and okay. post? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I've been retired for many years and I just uh, do all sorts of community work and rotary work and what have you. Um, I was in healthcare administration and before that I was in social work. 
But I, I just wanted to share something with you. If you're considering going to the Melbourne Convention and on either of the ITHF tours, please, please, please register now. I know last night some people were saying, oh, it's too early. But I'll tell you what, I'm, I, I'm stressed out about this because I know there was a situation in conjunction with the Atlanta Convention where somebody, at least one person, I don't know if there was more, had booked their air flights based on proposed tours and they were non-refundable. So, you know, it makes the organization look bad if we have to cancel, but also, unfortunately, this was Sheena Spittles, who many of you know and love. Uh, you know, some of the um, ITHF members there looked after her uh, for the couple of weeks when the tour was supposed to be on. So please, please, please register soon if you're going to go on either of the um, two uh, pre and post convention trips, okay? And I hope to see some of you on. Yes. And, and, and I just say a, a couple of things uh, about myself quickly. As I mentioned, I'm originally from Mexico and, and I came with Rotary uh, International, sponsored by them, and got a job with PPNL and uh, the, one of the largest uh, electric utilities in Pennsylvania. I, uh, we are pretty, well, we're pretty large. I'm retired also. PPNL uh, sent me to college for a uh, uh, you know, for business, business, business administration. And I almost finished my master's with uh, Lehigh University, which is the headquarters of, of PPNL. And I enjoy and I love traveling. I do, I enjoy traveling. And we try to go as much as possible, but we also have four grandchildren. We are late bloomers. <laughs> so we take care of the grandchildren, but and and Serge, I want you to know that when I was with PPNL, PPNL paid for my um, uh, diploma with New York University for translation. So I was the translator for PPNL for many years, and then I had a business on my own when I retired, uh, and and then uh, I worked at, with a with a nonprofit organization. Mine was just English and Spanish. And with NYU, you, you, you really have to choose what kind of translation you do. I do not do legal translation. No, no. <laughs> Marketing and other things, but, uh, but that's it. That's enough for me. I want to encourage, thank you so, so much. This was wonderful. Did you enjoy it? Did you like it? Yes, yes. very much. Thank yes. you. Are you going to join us again when we do it again? Yes. 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 yes we want you yes. here. It was and wonderful also, to see the people. Okay. And we also encourage you to please uh, encourage your the members of your club to join ITHF and uh, in the, your district also. I mentioned that I uh, yesterday I mentioned and I'll, I'll mention it again. If you are, have the opportunity to speak to your district governor and some of your clubs are close to you, that if uh, I do have a presentation and I'll be glad to share it with you so you don't have to start from scratch, that is called, I call it the best kept secret in Rotary, Rotary fellowships. And I focus specifically on ITHF and, and, and I briefly, and Rota Latinos, I belong to Rota Latinos which is a, a club that a, a, a fellowship that has about 1,200 members from all the countries whose language derives from Latin. So it's not just Spanish speaking. You know, it's many things, and anybody can join. You don't have to be, you know, But uh, but it is wonderful the fellowships. So if you are interested in me sharing the presentation, of course it's in English, but uh, you can put it in in, in your language. And share it with everybody and promote the, the fellowships and especially IDHF, which I think is wonderful. Thank you so much. And uh, I'm glad you enjoyed. Thank you, Madhu. And thanks, uh, Sheila from ITHF to do all this. And thanks all of you for joining us. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Okay. Have a good day or good night. You too. Have a good night. Same to you. Bye. Bye. Bye.